Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love in my incessant quest to create the best possible brisket. You know I've tried many methods including using something called a call fat, C-A-U-L, and the call fat is the fat that surrounds the organ. It's kind of a lace type of structure. I did that with pitmaster Winnie of Smoke Queen Barbecue a while ago. We used the call fat from a cow and we draped it over a brisket and we cooked it. And at the end of the day, the result wasn't exactly the best that we could do. Pitmaster Winnie didn't like that. I didn't like it either. So in this episode, I'm going to redo that brisket episode and I'm going to use pork call fat. So this is a pink call fat which surrounds the organ of a hog. I was able to source this through my buddies at the Brea Meat House and they were kind enough to find this hard to find call fat from a pork, from a hog. So we're going to drape this call fat over my standard brisket here. We're going to cook it to perfection. Stick around in this episode if you want to find out if the call fat from a pork versus the call fat from a cow, which one's better in our quest for the ultimate brisket. Wherever smoke fire, EX6 is at 250 degrees. Let's gonna let this puppy sit here for a little bit and get a nice crust before we proceed to the next phase. So you notice I have three half oil pads underneath my brisket on my smoke fire. That's to catch the grease, makes clean up a breeze on the smoke fire so you don't have that all that grease dripping down into the grease trap. It's starting to crust, so let's give it a little bit of spray of water. Keep it moist, tender, and juicy. And the fat is melting nicely. Now you can see it's melting into the brisket itself on the flat here. Also melting into the area of the point. It looks really, really good. All right, we had a seven hour mark and the brisket has crusted absolutely beautifully. You can see how the call fat has crusted. It has melted into the meat here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wrap now and uh, wrap it butcher paper, throw some tallow on it throw in the oven until it's absolutely super duper tender. All right, our brisket is ready. My, finally, my pork call fat brisket ready for tasting. We cooked it about seven and a half hours in the pit, probably another three hours wrapped, so a total of about 10 hours. Super nice, moist and tender. So let's cut it up and share with you guys the tasting impressions. The uh, bark is uh, super dark and you can see here it's uh, absolutely absolutely gorgeous here you can see the bark. Uh, the smoke ring is uh, sensational. I don't know what happened but this one is uh, outstanding. I'm not sure what I did special but that's definitely really really good. Yeah, flat muscle. See how tail it tastes. So I can see the a little bit of cow fat on the top. You can see a little bit of the cow fat has fused to the protein. A lot of it has rendered so let me give it a taste with the cow fat on. Wow, that, that's, a, that's a really good bite. So the cow fat actually helped preserve some of the moisture on the surface of the brisket. I did not notice any gaminess at all. So this is different than the one that we cooked at Winnie's place, uh, Smoke Queen Barbecue, when we did the uh, beef cow fat, it kind of had a little bit of a gaminess to it. Uh, this one is absolutely perfect, you see that? So the cow fat did not have any off flavors at all because I think the hog cow fat it's much more neutral. There's no sense of gaminess at all. So that was my first bite. Let me just reinforce it with the second bite. Let me pick a part from here, which is the tail end of the brisket. You can see here, I'm gonna go take a cut from this one, eat a little bit more of the cow fat and see if 
I my hunch is correct that the core fat on the pork is absolutely neutral, no hint at all of any type of a uh, uh, kind of a gaminess or any kind of a flavor. So as you can see the core fat is here. I'm gonna taste a little bit more, bite it, bite bite into it, and see what happens. Wow, that's really that's really good. So the pork fat. Call fat adds a layer of oiliness, unctuousness, that kind of smooth texture, mouthfeel to the brisket. So this could be the next big secret trick on the competition circuit to give the surface of the brisket kind of a beautiful kind of a sheen, as well as kind of a softness, a little slipperiness, smoothness that you don't typically find just on the surface of the brisket because once you put a salt and pepper, SPG, or any kind of complex rub, the surface of the brisket is kind of rough, but this one is kind of nice and soft and it's very, very smooth and an outstanding, outstanding flavor. So that was the flat muscle. So let me switch now, eat the burn end, the burn end that was covered with the uh, cow fat here. You can see the remnants of the cow fat here. Hopefully the camera can see that. It's kind of covering the, the, bri the brisket here. So this is the point muscle or the fatty, right? Hmm, very interesting. The interesting is the cow fat actually helps with the crispiness and what I'm noticing is that this burn end <laughs> has a nice kind of bark crispy bark to it kind of like a uh, for the sake of better description kind of like Costco rotisserie chicken you know the kind of spits the crispy chicken so it's got a little bit of a skin or a little bark made by the cow fat looking at it, you cannot tell the cow fat it looks just naturally like the surface of the point so Hmm. You know, this could be a game changer in a brisket turn in where you put the call fat on it and it's got to be pork because uh, my first episode one with the beef call fat didn't work too gamey. The pork call fat is absolutely excellent. Now, for those of you who want to try this at home, uh, go find yourself a vendor that sells you some pork call fat. That call fat you saw on my video isn't really expensive. I think I paid probably five dollars a pound so i bought a two pound pack of cow fat from the meat house in brea california super nice guys uh, they charged me like uh, ten dollars for two pounds i got about six pieces or six pieces of cow fat lace netting out of it so you reckon that each piece of cow fat netting is probably like a buck 75 so that is not a really expensive add-on to a say a hundred dollar brisket uh, that you're going to be using at home or in a contest so it's a pass. Harry gives the pork cow fat a two thumbs up. Because it gives you a fantastic flavor, keeps the moisture. And then the added benefit is my brisket burn end is superb because it's got a slight kind of a crunch to the surface of the burn end that kind of is very desirable. Uh, very unusual to have a crunchy surface crust burn end on a brisket. My first time ever. So. I'm gonna definitely going to be adding this pork cow fat to my bag of tricks for brisket. You see me do 50 videos already on brisket, so there is an innumerable number of ways. And as I go through and make these discoveries, including the one with the pork fat injection, now with the pork cow fat, I have to admit that the old saying that says pork fat rules does apply here. So enough of me talking now. Mr. Beans is waiting for his sample. Let's feed Mr. Beans and see what he thinks. I have Mr. Beans plate prepared. I've got him some point and some flat with a big chunk of cow fat on the surface here. Hope he likes the crunchiness. You ready, Beans? Oh, he's eating the point muscle, chowing it down, enjoying that crunch from the crust of the pork fat. Uh, he liked it. Moving on to the... No, he didn't like it. It's too big of a crunch for you. Okay, he swallowed that piece down. Goes for another point muscle, licking his chops. Now for the flat. All right. I think he's enjoying it. I noticed that the uh, smoke fire briskets look like that. They have the fantastic smoke ring because of the way the kind of fire grates are set up, different than conventional pit. But if you watching this episode, wondering how to get a nice smoke ring like mine, go try your brisket on the smoke fire. It's a fantastic cooker and uh, one of my favorites. Thanks to my patrons for helping sponsor my channel, keeping the free content going for my YouTube friends. So until the next video, we will see ya.